guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my, like, what I read in August video. In total, I read 12 books. Well, 11 books and then one short story. I wanted to clarify that, even though I would have mentioned it was a short story later on. I read, this month I read a varied range of genres. So I read One Young Adult, I read a romance, I read my typical thrillers. I, what, I also read some sci-fi and like fantasy, like that sort of category and I'm just going to go through him to a, like which books I've read, give my ratings, that sort of thing. I will tell you what books belong to which genre as I go through the book but let's just get into the books that I've read. The first book I read was Good As Dead by Mark Billingham. I actually really enjoyed this. I liked how fast paced it was, I how it changed perspectives. So between the person in the hostage situation and the detective, well actually I think it changed between a few detectives, or at least two anyway, and I just really really enjoyed this, and it was nice to see how it unfolded, like the solving of the crime, because the basis is a woman's taken hostage by a storekeeper, well two people are taken hosti hostage by a storekeeper, and the storekeeper's demand is that a specific detective solves the suicide of his son, because he doesn't think it's suicide. It follows along with the like detective who's stuck in the hostage situation and like what happens in that. And I just, I really enjoyed this book and I'd rate this a good four stars. I don't think it deserved five stars, but then again, I can't remember. So it might actually be like four and a half, but I don't think it was the full five stars, but I did really enjoy this book. The next book I read was an ebook and it was The Final Formula by Becca Andre. I really enjoyed this book. It had like a, it had a fantasy element, but well, it was a fantasy and it followed an alchemist and whose memory has, like who'd lost her memories from before a certain time. And it follows along as these people are after her for a reason she later discovers. And also her, like as she remembers some key parts of her past and I really enjoyed it and there was some friendship, there was the friendship, there was romance in it but then there was also the danger, there was the fantasy and it was just a really really good book. I think I rated it four stars. Yeah I rated it four stars. The next book I read was Katie Watson and the Painter's Plot. I gave this book three stars, it was a young adult book. I really enjoyed it. It was very simple and at times I found it slightly on the cringier side like some of the things that was happening but again I really enjoyed it like I did enjoy it it was a nice it was a, like I said it was simple but because it was a simple read it was different from what I usually read and so it was quite nice and it was a good break from the typical books I usually read and like I said I'd rate this three stars just because your girl aren't typically my thing however I was part of the reason why I read it is because I don't read young adults as an 18 year old anymore like obviously I'd have read them when I was fully a young adult myself like 13, 14 that sort of thing but I don't read them as such anymore I am more towards the thrillers and the crime and that sort of thing so for me it was a good te it was like a tester to see like would I actually enjoy reading young adults because obviously everyone here on booktube loves reading like a lot of people love reading booktube not booktube young adults and so I wanted to give young adult a try and see whether I actually liked young adult but that was my third read of the month the next book I read was Make Me at Midnight by Elise Noble now the reason why I read this book is because it was right at the start of like my downloads it was like one of my first downloads and I sort of I knew that the downloads from the start wouldn't entirely match my interest now. Meet Me at Midnight is a romance. It involves some sex scenes. However, unlike Justice for Mackenzie, the sex scenes weren't full on. It was less cringy. It was very simple and I liked it because I'm not one for reading erotica, but I do enjoy like romance as a side plot and even though the main thing about it, like it was a romance, it wasn't like a full on romance and it was like forbidden type thing and it followed along with a like a high class girl 
and her having sex with this mystery man at midnight and how she tries to find out who it was and right at the end she thinks she's found out who it was but then that person quits and she can never find out. If I rated it three stars. It could have been a three and a half but on iBooks you can only read it, rate it like a full star like three, four, five etc. So I enjoyed it. It's just not my cup of tea. Then I read Lost Library by Kate Beret. This had like a fantasy element however it was a like at the start it followed along like in a normal life but then the fantasy element kept being involved more and more and it all starts with a book some a woman receiving a book through the post but someone has hand delivered it no one knew where it was from and that it was just following along with that and how this woman who wasn't involved in this magical world is then now involved and she thinks she's a fraud because she can't do what she's people are expecting of her but in the end it is resolved and there's just a lot of drama things go on and I did actually really enjoy this book and turns out I'd never actually rated it on here. I'm gonna rate this like a 3.75 so on I books I'm gonna rate it as a four because it's closer to a four but it's not like one of my favorites however I did enjoy it. Then I read Hidden Blade by Pippa da Costa however on the book it says P da Costa. I only found out towards the end of the book the like right at the end of the book the author's name is first name is Pippa which is why I refer to her as Pippa. This was fantasy and it was like how these gods are in the human world and like their involvement and it focuses around this man who has been banished from the underworld and it follows along how for a task he's granted he's allowed to be able to go visit the underworld to visit his mother however something happens with his mother and it follows and it that has an effect and then he discovers something that his ex-wife kept from him who is a god like his ex-wife is a god and the danger that the secret was in and it was just a good book i think i'd rate it i'd rate it like a three stars because even though it was good it never fully like gripped me i was just reading it because it like i just wanted it to finish it but it had a good plot well planned out and but it was also like a part of a series not a standalone like even though there because there were so many questions left unanswered for a second book it was more like a actually no on here i rated it four stars so obviously i loved it more than what i'm thinking but yeah Four stars. Then I read Better Off Wed by Laura Durham. I really enjoyed this. This was followed along on like the viewpoint of a wedding planner and how something happens at a wedding that she's planned and it follows her trying to solve that and then her life being put in danger and then the solving of it. I really enjoyed this even though it had like a detect, a it was a woman sleuth even though it had that aspect to it I really enjoyed it because it had it was quite light-hearted and humorous and it was just such a good fun light book to read it wasn't overly long it wasn't a short story but it wasn't overly long like it, it was just under it, it was under 200 but I think it was over 150 could be wrong but it all depends on what size text I had but I rated this a good five stars. I loved it. It was so good. And this book was a standalone book. And but there are more books in like the series following along with that wedding planner. And I really, really enjoyed it. Like oh, it was so so good. Then I read City of Bones by Michael Connolly. Yes, I actually finally read another physical book. I I'd rate this a good four stars it's like it's a crime thriller and it follows a detective who 
gets called out to some bones that's been found that are from like a 20 year old case this i did mention this more in a reading vlog i don't know whether it'll be the video before this or the video after i'm not sure but i meant i talked about it more in that video so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can watch that but i really enjoyed this i found it was a slow start which is the main reason why it got four stars so like even though it was adding things it wasn't like at a high pace so it felt slow to me but towards the end it got things sped up and it got exciting and in the end i just loved it and but yeah like i said i'd only rate this four stars just because it was a slow starter and sometimes slow starters don't bother me it just depends on the details that i'm given in the slow starter i really enjoyed this but and i do recommend because michael connelly does write good books i've read another book of his before and i really enjoyed it which is the whole reason which is the thing that made me want to purchase another one of his books and i did mention this in my thriller haul which i will be linked in the description box below but i love a good thriller i love a good detective and I seem to quite like the ones with like FBI or something, like an FBI agent. And yeah, I really enjoyed City of Bones. Then I read the short story, which was Killer Cupcakes by Milda Harris. I rated this four stars because it was a good short story. Obviously, it's not going to be in detail because it is labelled a short story. But it was like a snippet in time and it added, there were quite a few twists, like and you found out more when you found out more about people it was so nice and there was like a little hint of like, like a little tease of romance and that was really nice to sort of see and it just follows along on like the death of a new like celebrity like enough like a fast riser who was still in the early stages who died from eating a cupcake and that was poisoned and it follows along with one of the two of the employees trying to find out who it could be because they've deducted the people who could have had a been close to the cupcake to poison it and it follows along on that and I really enjoyed it and I didn't actually expect the killer to be who it was so that's obviously a good aspect of a story uh, even despite it being a short story because I think it was only like 55 pages long and again I talked about it a little bit I think I talked about it in a little bit more in the reading vlog it depends I'm still editing that but I never spent a lot of time editing that geez at least four hours <laughs> but i really enjoyed it and if you're looking for like a quick read i do recommend it then i read hot Rat america by paul westwood i rated it four stars it was good i liked it though it was in the form of diary entries and it was like different like cases like this man come get become comes into the employment of a like a paranormal doctor like that's the best way to describe him as and it follows along on this man's journey like in this new career field and it has a bittersweet ending i'm just gonna say that i didn't rate it five stars because the diary entry is not bad but they don't go into much detail Yes, you have the odd twist, but it was also getting to the point where I write the start as soon as something was mentioned. Especially towards the end, it was quite predictable, like, which paranormal creature was involved. So, that's the reason why I only rated it four stars. It could drop down to three and a half. Actually, yeah, probably three and a half. But, I still enjoyed reading it. And I enjoyed how... And even though I didn't enjoy the diary entry format, I also enjoyed it because it meant that 
for me, it was easy to do in sizable chunks, so I'd read like one diary entry per like sitting and something like that and it just worked quite well that way but again it wasn't like the my favourite format. The next book I read was The Girl Who Lied by Sue Fortin. Good five stars. I loved it. Very suspenseful at the beginning like a lot of mystery. At the most like by at least halfway through the book you do know the secret that's kept but I still enjoyed it. It followed along like the impact of keeping secrets and all of that and I loved even though I sort of predicted like the secret and all of that I still enjoyed how it got to that point I enjoyed reading it and I liked how I liked I loved the ending it was so nice and I would definitely recommend this I know on Goodreads some people like it some people don't like some people like it despite the predictability some people hate it because of the predictability but I was gripped especially at the start but I just loved it it was quite a cozy sort of thriller in a sense and I just really enjoyed it then I read Ring Around the Rosie by Julian Scott this was the final read of the month number 12 I did I rated this four stars it was a I did really enjoy it right at the start. It did set things up and it was, like in the text size I had it, it was on the shorter side. It was only like 136 pages or something. But that could have also been because the last like 20 pages were for, like an extract from another book. But I really enjoyed this. The reason why it was rated four stars rather than five is because it was very slow to start with and then it picked up right at the end and this book is part of a series and so a lot of the things like the lot of, a lot of the good things that happened towards the end don't get continued on till a second book and even though there was something that was conclusive that's something that did end with like in that book it it was like a start I felt like that book was sort of like a starter like if you had like the second book in the series together with it like the first book would have been like a starter like the setup type thing apart from the conclusive end like apart from that but it was a lot of setting things up showing you family relation like showing you some family relationships like the past that sort of thing but I also enjoyed it and it was such a good read and a part of, there is like a paranormal aspect to it a very small one but there is a paranormal aspect to it and again I just really I did really enjoy it and but those are my reads of August I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below let me know of any videos you want to see from me in the future lifestyle beauty books let me know and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys